Drawing Out the Facts, the Naked Science Scrapbook. Hello and welcome to the Naked Science Scrapbook from the Naked Scientists. This time we'll be answering the question, how does a cake rise? The way a cake rises is different to how bread rises. In bread, the yeast that you add to the dough feeds off the sugars in the rest of the dough and breathes out carbon dioxide that forms bubbles in the dough and puffs it up. But there's no yeast in normal cake mixture, so how does it work? A standard sponge cake mix has four main ingredients. Fat, usually butter, sugar, eggs and flour. The two parts that contribute to the rising of the cake are the flour and the eggs. For a cake, you'd either use plain flour with a spoonful of a raising agent like baking powder or self-raising flour that's already had a raising agent added. Baking powder is essentially a mixture of sodium bicarbonate and a solid weak acid like tartaric acid. When bicarbonate is reacted with an acid, it releases carbon dioxide gas. When baking powder is mixed into the cake mix, the acid and the bicarbonate react and produce carbon dioxide gas bubbles that will puff up the mixture. Some of the acids only become acidic when the cake is heated in the oven, so the bubbles are released at the optimum time. But this isn't the whole story. Imagine a fizzy drink. This also contains bubbles of CO2, but eventually it goes flat as the CO2 is released and escapes. So what stops the cake going flat again? Well, that's where the eggs come in. The proteins in the eggs stop the CO2 bubbles from escaping and trap them in the sponge, keeping the mixture fluffy and risen. A final way of making sure a cake will rise is to beat plenty of air into it as it's mixed, properly getting that elbow grease in. The air bubbles trapped in the mix when you make it expand in the heat of the oven and add to the cake rising. This is what makes souffles and meringues so light and fluffy. Whipping the egg whites traps lots of air in them and then the proteins in the whites hold onto the bubbles. So now all that's left is to scoff a big slice. If there's any left. That's it for this time. To get the answers to more science questions, join us online at thenakedscientist.com forward slash scrapbook. Bye.